Hey everybody, Mr. Mathlog here. This lesson is compare mixed number factors and products. This is uh, section 7-8 in our textbook. Okay, here we go, you guys. So um, here's our common core strand for our teachers. And our question is, how does the size uh, of the product compare to the size of one factor when multiplying fractions greater than one and also less than one? Okay, so we're going to compare when we multiply numbers greater than one and less than one. How does it compare with uh, our, our factors or our numbers? All right, so let's uh, look at some prior knowledge, you guys. The multiplication uh, identity or multiplicative identity, it just states that the product of any number times 1 is always that number. So, for example, 5 times 1 equals 5, or 1 times 7.5 equals 7.5. So, so when you multiply by 1, it just equals whatever that factor is, okay? So we can make generalizations about the relative size of a product when one factor is equal to 1, less than 1, or greater than 1. So that's what this lesson's about. So how does the factor compare to the product when we multiply it by a number equal to, less than, or greater than 1? So here we go, and this is uh, one way to do, use a model. So Jack has a recipe uh, that calls for one and one fourth cups of flour. He wants to know how much flour he will need if he made the rep recipe as written, so one of these recipes right here, if he made half the recipe, and if he made one and a half times the recipe. Okay, so we're going to multiply this times one, we're going to multiply this number times a half, and this number times one and a half, and we want to know how do they compare to the number that we started with. That's what this lesson's about. Okay, so we're going to shade the models to show one and one fourth that's scaled by one or multiplied by one, one and one one fourth that's scaled by a half and one and one fourth that's uh, scaled by which means multiplied by one and one half right there okay so here we go let's try it by one first okay so we're going to shade the model to show one and one fourth uh, scaled by one okay so there's there it is cut it up into each one is cut it up into four so we'll shade all of these for four fourths plus one more of these so this would be one whole which is four fourths plus one more is going to give us one and one fourth okay so there's one and one fourth shaded right there okay so what can we say about the product of one and one fourth with one well Think what we know about what we just did about the multiplicative identity. So a multiplicative identity just says that 1 times anything is just that anything. So 1 and 1 fourth times 1 is equal to 1 and 1 fourth. Okay. All right. So uh, the second part is let's scale it by half. Okay. So let's um, um, shade the model to show 1 and 1 fourth scale by half. So 1 half of 1 and 1 fourth, or 1 half times 1 and 1 fourth. So think about it. It's going to be the product. Uh, our product will be half of what we started with. So think of half of these shaded models right here. We just drew a line down there and just shaded only half of them. Okay, so now what can we say about the product of 1 and 1 fourth with a fraction? Here's a fraction that's less than 1. What happens when we multiplied uh, 1 and 1 fourth with a number less than 1? Can you see that the shaded part is less than than this up here. So it's going to give us a number that uh, the product uh, with a fraction that's less than 1 will be less than 1 and 1 fourth. Okay? So this, they just want to know what relationship does it have. Is it greater than, less than, or is it equal to? When we multiply it by 1, it equals. When we multiply it by a number that's less than 1, then the shaded part is going to be less than uh, the 1 and 1 fourth. Okay? All right, let's do it with 1 and a half times 1 and a fourth. Maybe you can probably guess what we're going to do. Okay, can you see the, the distributive property happening? We just changed 1 to 1. I'm sorry. Change 1 and 1 half to 1 plus a half. Here's the 1 plus a half right there. So they're both being multiplied by 1 and a fourth. So if we multiply 1 and a half times 1 and a fourth, it's the same as 1 times 1 and a fourth plus a half times 1 and a fourth. Okay? So let's shade this, you guys. Okay, so um, uh, the product will be what we started with. So this is going to be the one and one fourth, what we started with right here. And then this is going to be half more. Okay, so it's going to be both those uh, shaded ones together right there. Okay, so what can we say about the product of one and one fourth? Product just means multiply. So what can we say about the product of one and one fourth 
times a number that's greater than 1? Well, it's going to give us a number that's going to be greater than 1 and 1 fourth right there, okay? So the product will be greater than what we started with, 1 and 1 fourth. Okay, so which expression that we did had the greatest product? Which expression had the least product? Okay, the one with the greatest product had the one that we multiplied when we multiplied with a number greater than 1. That gave us the bigger shaded part right there. It gave us all this shaded plus this half more right there. You just want to know is it greater than or less than, okay? And then the one that we when we multiplied one and one fourth times a number that's less than one, it gave us a product that's less than one and one fourth or less than what we started with, okay? Okay, we can also use a diagram to show the relationship between the products when a, a fraction greater than 1 is multiplied or scaled, and then sometimes they call it resized by a number, okay? So another way is to use a, a diagram on a number line. So we'll do a number line thing here. So Jan wants to train for a race. She plans to run 2.5 miles on the first day. On the second day, she plans to run 3 fifths of that distance that she ran on the first day. On the third day, she plans to run one and two-fifths of the distance that she ran on the first day. So what we're going to do is we're going to find two and a half, and then we're going to do three-fifths times two and a half, and then we'll do one and then two-fifths times two and a half. And we just want to know what relationship does it have in respect to our first number, two and a half, okay? So which distance is going to be greater? Greater The distance on day two when she did three-fifths of two and a half miles, remember of means multiply, or the distance that she did on day three when she did one and two-fifths of two and a half miles. I bet you already know the answer to this, okay? Can you see that this number is less than one and this number is greater than one right there? So when you multiply numbers less than one, it gets smaller. When you multiply numbers greater than one, it gets larger. So we're going to graph a point in our diagram on our number lines to show the size of the products. Then we'll complete the statement with equal to, greater than, or less than. Okay. So think. Um, so here we're going to um, graph uh, two and a half right there. So two and a half is going to be right there. Okay. So let's put a point right there. Okay. So one times two and a half. What do you think one times two and a half is? It going to be equal to, greater than, or less than? And two and a half. Well, one times anything is going to be equal to that anything. So it's going to be equal to, okay? All right, so here's part B. So now we're going to do three fifths times two and a half. Okay, so let's locate two and a half in the, uh, in the figure and we'll shade that distance, okay? So let's shade two and a half right there, okay? Now we'll uh, locate a point to show three fifths of that. Well, fortunately, two and a half, when we cut it up into halves, it cuts it up in even, even nicely into fifths. Can you see this would be one fifth? Two fifth, three fifth, four fifth. Here's five fifths. So here's one five fifths of two and a half. So to find three fifths, we just got to go three of them. One, two, three. So let's put a point right there. That would be three fifths of two and a half. Okay, so this would be the product right here. Okay, so this is the product of three fifths times two and a half. All right, and then they just want to know is that product of the number. Uh, when we multiplied it of a number less than one, three fifths is less than one. Okay, when we multiplied three, uh, uh, two and a half with a number less than one, is it going to be equal to, greater than, or less than two and a half? Well, fortunately, or hopefully, you guys can see that it's going to be less than uh, the two and a half right there. Okay, all right, let's do this with uh, um, a number greater than one. So we're going to multiply two and a half with a number greater than one, one and two fifths. Okay, so if we, I want you to recognize that one and two fifths by using the distributive property is the same as one plus two fifths. So here's one plus two fifths, and so each one of those are being multiplied by one and two fifths. Okay, so let's find first uh, find two and a half in the figure and let's shade out to two and a half so there's two and a half right there okay and then since this is five fifths right here let's go ahead and add because this is add we're going to add another two fifths of two and a half so if each one of these is one fifth let's start right here and do one fifth, two fifths. So let's shade it out to there. So there's the other um, uh, two fifths of two and a half. So we'll put a point right there. So the product is this point right here. So one and two fifths times two and a half is this point right here. Now that's three and a half right there, but they just want to know is this three and a half less than, equal to, or greater than two and a half? Okay, so the product of a number that's greater than one and two and a half will be greater than two and a half, and it'll also be greater than the other factor right there. 
Okay, so let's answer the question. So what, which distance is greater? The distance on day two when she did uh, ran three-fifths of two-and-a-half or the distance on day three when she ran one and two-fifths of two-and-a-half? Well, uh, definitely, you guys, uh, when we multiplied by a number greater than one, it's going to give us a bigger number. Here we multiplied by a number less than one. It gave us a smaller number. Here's two-and-a-half. This is smaller right here. So blank of blank miles is greater than, okay, so one and two fifths of two and a half miles is going to be greater than three fifths of two and a half miles right there, okay? All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense. Take care.